want nothing like a little Jimmy Buffett. Let's start the morning off. Um, well, this is it, Nomad fans. It's the beginning of fire and deer season for the Nomads, for Nomad Outdoors. Uh, as anticipated, old Grey Bear has not rolled out of the den. He is uh, was sitting upright in the bed last time I heard from him. Um, Jer Bear is working. He will not be going up. And your polecat has got a job as well. So it's just the two old men heading their way up to Gladwin, Michigan. Uh, got a couple of new areas we're going to check out, like we always do. Move a foot. And we will see what the week brings. So we'll be up for... Uh, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. So five days. Five days, four nights. And we're going to make the best of it. All right, then. That's about it for the morning briefing. No live from the stand yet. The sun is just peeking up over the horizon. About a, about a three hour drive to get up north to Gladwin to our camp. <coughs> So, listen to the music. I'll uh, probably do a live broadcast with old Gray Bear if I can wake him up. We'll, uh, we'll be back. Let's go to commercial. Hey, Nomad fans, don't forget to check us out on the web www.nomadoutdoors.net. Oh, uh, yes, Nomad fans. That is the sun creeping up over the east horizon. And I just got a text message from old uh, Gray Bear. He says he's driving down the road. So let's see if we can uh, roster him up on the cell phone and do a little live action. Hello. Hello, welcome to Nomad Outdoors. Can I bet you better turn down that uh that dirty old Jopers music then. Oh, yeah, we don't want to have any of that, that foul mouth language all over the radio. Oh, I can't, uh, I can't start the trip unless I pull out of the driveway and listen to the second week of deer camp. That, that or Fred Bear, it depends. But I'm a Fred Bear for a, a boat season one, because that same year that came out, the same year I got my deer fall up there in Gladwin. Well, how about that? Something and about... Now we're going up on the second week of deer camp. <laughs> yeah, but we haven't been up there for a week. It ever comes, it all is coming together here. Oh, I all, are y'all loaded it up? Stop. I gotta get Jim work. All right, and then <laughs> I'll be right at 75. All right, well, I am uh, coming up to 475 and 69, so. I'm... Yeah, you're a good bit of puppy then. That's good. You can you can get the heat going before I get there. I kind of figured that. I kind of figured that I was going to be uh, default tasked with uh, getting the camp set up. And I actually thought to myself, I go, oh, it'll be convenient because you won't be in my way then. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> That's the thing. You're absolutely right. This guy goes like a flipping tornado. Just stand back and let him go, folks. Yeah. I'll get her done. I'll take my OCD and put it to good use. Yeah, that, those, that wrench is right up there. The, or, uh, no, I think we never undid them. Just, all you got to do is turn the gas on. Oh, and one. Turn uh, your uh, number one combo, please. Uh, no, chocolate chip muffin, please. A, a chocolate breakfast. chip muffin? A uh, large double double with uh, uh, vanilla flavor chocolate. This isn't on tape, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh. I met with uh, with with some stew is a flavor shot. Uh, uh, venison stew is a flavor shot in my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. I had to, yeah. I had, I didn't order a vanilla flavor shot in my coffee. I ordered a venison stew uh. flavor shot in my coffee. Make sure that gets put in there. <laughs> you didn't want some duck's blood mixed in with that coffee. So what? <laughs> What? Some duck's blood soup, some charnina. You didn't bring that, did you? Oh, that's what we're having for dinner tonight. <laughs> duck's blood soup? Yep. Do we gotta kill it ourselves? Uh, no, it's already killed and drained. Ooh, whew. Okay, well, all right, then. As long as I ain't got a plus duck, maybe you're at the, at the hell of a thing. Yeah, for all you people that are watching this, for all you listeners, they're at camp. Yeah. Uh, do not. <laughs> 
do not and update Facebook page. Yes. yes. I didn't do that either. I didn't I didn't put down on mine that it said to the north wood. But like you said, I read yours. I mean, of course, I wasn't driving, but you know, I read yours. <laughs> it said uh, uh, it said that you were en route, and I'm like, well, but you can't. I got a tweet. A little bird tweeted on my shoulder. Well, it didn't tweet on my shoulder. It tweeted in my ear. It said that you were en route. And uh, I'm like, well, I don't know how you do a, a nomad tweet to say that I'm en route, but I just did mine. And it's, it's called modern technology. But for all the Nomad friends that are out there, we have our own website, nomadoutdoors.net. We also have uh, Facebook, backslash Nomad Outdoors. And we have uh, Nomad Outdoors HC on YouTube. And we also yeah. And, oh. and don't forget our, our product line. You can get uh, didgeridoo and uh, <laughs> little uh, Kucheru doll. Wearing, we have uh, uh, little puppet duck rouge rouge with a t shirt that says No Man Outdoors. I was hired by No Man Outdoors. Uh, now, now you're talking. We're going to have to do that. Product line. Take a little. Let's rouge take a rouge. minute to discuss some hunting myths. Which every hunter will tell you oh, snow on the ground, it's great. It's the best way to hunt is with snow on the ground. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, they'll tell you. They'll tell you two things, they'll say. Snow on the ground is great. Look out on the way up with your fear everywhere. Yeah. And I and I walk I walk 30 miles each way to my stand and hunt the most remote recesses the world has ever seen. That even even the world doesn't know where I hunt because it's so so yeah. out there in the middle of nowhere. There's no way to access that 30 mile center spot from a road a half mile away. And, uh, I had to, uh, I got to be airdropped from a float plane just to get in to the trail that takes me back to where my tree stand is. Right, right. I, yeah, you had to hire an outfitter, a guide for the fly-in. Well, that's pretty much the end of our discussion on how far back in the woods you really need to go. Well, let's get back to the show. Now we're going to go live on the air with Jer Bear. All right. Uh, go ahead, Jer Bear. You're live on Nomad Outdoors. What's going on? Oh, hey. Working. Working hard. Working? Yep. Saving the lives of many. Oh, geez. That's right. Jer Bear's got him job working for an ambulance company. Can't go up north for gun hunting. Nope. Did get busy, uh, too busy working. Yep. Got school at the same time. Uh, did get you up there for a little bow hunting though. That was all right. Nope. Nope. That's okay. We're introducing our uh, we're introducing our new characters. Uh, are going to be on this episode of Nomad Outdoors. Our little stinky squirrel and rascally rabbit. What? <laughs> oh, the. Yeah, I say. Oh, hello. Hi, you're talking to Stinky Squirrel. How are you, Jerry Bear? <laughs> you're gonna do that. Go on the ground up here. There's, there's a little bit down there. It's not bad, but cold, real cold down here in southern Michigan. Down in the flatlands? Down in the flatlands. Real cold out. Yeah, old. Back, uh, back my truck right into police department bay. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You sitting there in uh in their bay? The door closed? Uh, actually, yeah, they did close the door with us. Be a little hard to get out. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. But uh, we had to go in there and pick up a prisoner and had some issues. Oh, probably got a good beating, huh? You beat him into a seizure. Beat him into a seizure? No. Uh, Anyways, what's it feel like to not be going up north gun hunting? Not a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, keep that. I, I appreciate the job I do for others, but yeah. keep away from getting to do my own thing. Yeah, Keith and I figured if we can find an old, blind, deaf buck, we might actually be able to shoot one this year. Yes, maybe. Yeah. 
Well, you just gotta find one like Justin was telling us about. It's gonna walk out, look great at you, squat down, and drop just... a couple little uh, nuggets for you. <laughs> See what you think of that. Say, oh, just shoot me while I poop, yeah. yeah. Shoot me while I just sit here and talk to you with my turd. A talking, a turd talking. Uh, well, we'll talk to Jeer Bear later. So See you, buddy. Well, me and Gray Bear are finally at camp, and we're headed out hunting. Well, 18 degrees, 20 mile an hour wind, snow on the ground. Beautiful day. 130. Much different plans than we originally Sound like last anticipated. Year's. No. Our anticipated plan was to get out there 11 o'clock on the quad runner, do some scouting. Apparently, uh, that's just, uh, now, say what you want. I mean, 18 degrees outside, 20 mile on our winds. I don't think we're going to be hanging out where you go there that way. Ugh. Dunham Road. Right, Joe? Anyways, uh, yeah. 20 mile an hour winds and whatnot. It's cold. Cold, cold, cold. So, so one guy drives truck back there. Yeah. I'm not going to be spending, you know, we spend on planning a whole day out in the woods today, but apparently. Oops. Mother Nature has another word for us. Violator. Violator. Yeah, violator. So we're gonna go uh, check things out, quad runner it, see what we can do, see if we can find a Better place purple. that man has not stepped in a billion years. <laughs> yes. Since he first stepped foot there a billion years since ago. The earth, since the earth was created, a man has not stepped here. Matter of fact, I think it. we're looking, we're going to the Garden of Eden. That's where I think we're at Lost Adam or something, right? Isn't it? What'd you say, Muskrat Love? Muskrat Love. Adam lost his... <laughs> is that a song, too? Adam, it is. Adam Lost His Rib is a song. Uh, I don't know if Adam Lost His Rib is a song. I know Muskrat Loves a song. That's Everybody knows that one, right? Right, kids? Muskrat, everybody yeah. knows that one. Why are them people... Oh, they're putting up their Christmas lights. Oh, well, they got, yeah, they got the paper paper drive through Beautiful. Christmas uh, shenanigans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go look at their Christmas lights. That you can see from the road, but you can go look at them from. Yeah, you can go pay to drive through there and look at them like real close, as if you can't see them from the road, anyways. Six minutes. All right, out we go. Day number one. Logged in the book. Well, so here we go. Walking, 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 walking. go through to get out here and uh, sure enough we get out here and there's footprints 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 it's like where and how is this guy getting out here Aside from the road that we came in on, I, that's what I don't get. Road. How the hell is he getting would in? Would be another. It would be the next road down that we passed. Right? Yeah. And he didn't take this out there to do. Well, we figured out how this guy was getting out here. He was uh, bringing a motorboat up the river, oh, beaching it down there, down on the bottom, and walking up to his tree stand. Got to give him credit. He's in a very isolated area.
And just a further along, along the trail, we come up on uh, six does running along the pine trees. Gray Bear gets his gun up trying to see if anything has any antlers on it. We just had four deer come by us. They don't have our scent. They can't have our scent. But we know we got them pinched off because they're not going to cross the river. I didn't see, I didn't see antlers on it. I know, they all seem bald to me. But that doesn't mean that they're not being chased. Let's up. Did you really? Yeah. Hi, Nomad fans. It's dark. It's and, way oh, dark. Look, it's quad runner lights. And we're in the middle of nowhere. BFE. You want this? No, I just wanted to. Yeah. There he is. We're uh, getting ready to head out. And this light obviously sucks. But we are. Uh, Nowhere. So uh hopefully we're gonna get stuck on the way back. I hear it's broke.